Happy New Year, party people. Happy New Year in DFW. It is 2024. It's 2024 in the real estate market. It's 2024 on your calendar. Maybe it's even 2024 in your heart. But there's a lot going on, people, and we're going to get into it today. Uh, We're going to talk about the 2024 real estate market. We're going to look back at the 2023 real estate market. Why would we do that? We do it to help you have an idea of what's happening. What are the trends? Where's the market going? Should you be buying, selling? Should you be staying right where you are? Is it time to remodel, add on, enjoy your home, and uh, and and make a move? So whether you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, or simply enjoying where you own or rent your property, we're getting into it today. If you've got questions, give us a call, 214 310 zero 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 eight that's two one four three one oh zero 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 eight call or text or as always you can go online to todd team dot com where you can find out what your property is worth you can find out if you're ready to buy you can find out if you're ready to sell we've got some scorecards and quizzes there you can take and get a little score you can search homes by any agent in the entire market all at todd but if you've got questions We'd love to answer your questions, help you out, add some value in your life. It's 214-310-0008. First segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team over at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, maybe you're looking to refinance, reach out to Patrick. Go to patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. You can do an application right there on his website. 972-728-3420 is what you can do to call him. NLS number 308804. Believe you didn't it. miss a beat on uh, that one. No, I think you came back from the holidays strong. Back strong. I, uh, I think we've got to make some introductions. We have gotten away from doing the early introductions in the show just to make sure people know what the heck we're talking about. We're talking about the 2023 wrap-up, the 2024 market ahead. We're going to give you very specific suggestions if you are a buyer, seller, or investor. But before that, We've got a full studio today, folks. The holidays uh, are mostly behind us. We got everyone in office. We got microphones. We've got full price Courtney, Woo! producer extraordinaire of all things audio, video, and digital. Make sure you check out her work at TodTremontyTeam.com, where you can find the YouTube channel on the videos tab. You can find the podcast. You can find the radio show. You can find the shows you missed and the bonus episodes in between the show just about anywhere you find podcasts. So check out Full Price Courtney, producer Courtney's work on the internets, just about any of the internets that you want. Touchreminiteam.com. We've got the Yanni Donnie, folks, the English wonder himself with allergies, playing hurt once again in studio, may or may not look like someone beat him about the head and neck with a wiffle ball bat, but he's here, Ian Daniels. 2023 was rough. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate you fighting through. Allergies. I appreciate you still being here. Fun year. I appreciate you playing injured, showing up, putting in the work for the people, adding value. And for the first time ever on the airwaves, live in studio, the man, the myth, the legend, JB Jackson Berry, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome to the show. (laughs) I'm so happy to be here. Listen, are you? With the tremendous amount of show prep we put in today, and I appreciate you being here early to put in that work. That's why we get out of bed early, folks. Uh, what would you say your general perspective is on real estate in 2023 as a high school student? That it's, uh, it's about selling stuff. Yeah. And- well said. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Excellent yeah. review. <laughs> Lil John loves that. It is about selling stuff based on your gut. Do you feel like people sold more stuff, stuff being houses or less stuff? in 2023 than previous years recent previous years i would probably say less stuff yeah i think wow. yeah. little john loves that i think he nailed stuff. it i think he nailed it yeah uh well that i mean what else do we need to say people That's it. we're gonna get into some statistics here in a little bit on hard data that really just loosely supports what jackson just said people sold less stuff in 2023 than they did in 2022 and we'll pull out the crystal ball we'll look deep into the future and tell you with near certainty or maybe just an educated guess on what will be happening in 2024 when did you start in real estate what year uh 
Well, I got my license in 2003. Okay. And I started flipping houses a couple years before that. Okay. Selling Todd Tremonti home selling team. Stay with me. I'm following. Selling stuff. Stuff. Since 2003. Uh, yeah. You, selling stuff for over 20 years. If you wanted to really lean into it, you could see selling lots of stuff since 2001. That's, yeah. I think it, we should make shirts. Various stuff. Yeah. I think we should do that. All right, uh, we got a full studio, folks, here to take your questions, add value in your life, and be an advocate for you among the many, 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 many messages that are out there around the economy, the real estate market, mortgage rates, buying and selling homes. We're here for you, folks. So call or text with your questions, 214-310-0008. All right, so what I want to do is I want to start with some uh, numbers from last year, and then let's talk about the opportunity that is going to be there for people moving into 2024. We're already here, but we're going into 2024 when it comes to buying and selling some windows might be tightening, some windows might be opening, but let's start with uh, how much stuff got sold mm -hmm. in DFW mm -hmm. last year. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is up to date info 173,038 stuffs got sold. All right. Let's pause for a second. Over 173,000 houses, well, homes, sorry, count condos, townhomes, houses, lots, land, that kind of thing. Over 173,000 pieces of real property mm -hmm. sold mm -hmm. across Dallas, Fort Worth mm -hmm. in our local MLS, which does include the bulk of North Texas Yep. in 2023. Now, for a lot of people, that doesn't mean anything. It's, it's a big round number. That was less than any year since 2019, but actually 2018 since before 2019. Okay. Yeah. But the point I want to make is that is still a ton of property changing hands. So it is important that we compare years and it's important that we identify trends and we see opportunities and threats. And that's kind of what we do here for our clients on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team and for our friends and listeners and neighbors here uh, at DFW Real Estate Weekly on the radio show or the podcast or the YouTube channel and all those things. So the data matters, but it is very important to say and to see that there was still a whole bunch of real estate activity in DFW. That's not true in every market. Yeah, so let me give you the numbers from 2018 to current. 2018 was 170,602. 2019, 176,574. 2020, COVID hit, 191,503. The year after that, in 2001, 192,000 and change. Then last year, well, 2022 was 178,000 and change. And then most recently, 173,000 and change. So I'm going to say that really on average, DFW, you're normally looking at in that 170 somewhere range. Yep. The anomaly years was that COVID year and the year after when interest rates just went insanely low and everybody sold, prices went up, and everybody just did that. Round of applause. I mean, just take it away. You're, for, folks. No, you're doing great. You don't need me. No, that, I mean, the, the point you make that is excellent is there no two years are the same because we live in a super complex world and economy and community and DFW is generally growing naturally by population. People are having kids and growing and it's growing naturally through uh, the normal movement of people to the city, and it's growing what I would call unnaturally through an unusual acceleration in people moving to DFW out of other states. Uh, you know, we can go on and on and on about that. But the point is, um, so there is an upward typical growth in a city like Dallas Fort Worth, but there was an un unbelievably unusual anomaly that happened. 21, 22, mm -hmm. right? And so we shouldn't look at- 20 and 21. Well, late 20, early, all of 21, early 22. So that's where the numbers get even harder because you're looking at 12 month period yep. and it doesn't account for a, a lot of things. But the point we're making is there was a couple of years where it was wildly unnatural, the, the rapid in uptick in transactional volume. So you're looking at 2023 that looked a whole lot like 2019, which many, many, many people were really happy in 2019 about the real estate market. They're like, okay, the craziness, this was the, us talking in 2019, the craziness of 16, 17, 18, 
is kind of normalizing to a really manageable, appropriate real estate market in 2019. I remember being a guest on somebody else's radio show in 2019, and my prediction that year was that we would see one of the more normal real estate markets we had seen in a long time in the summer of 2019. It showed up. We were right. It wasn't a brilliant prediction. It's what the data was showing. People were shocked. And we were on track for this kind of, okay, this is going to feel just about right. And then COVID just went fuel on the fire. So you make a great point. But all that to say, 2023, although it felt like a down year, was about the normal number of home sales if we had our normal, regular kind of steady growth. So not at all a horrible, terrible thing. But definitely we, we shifted gears down a little bit from the insanity of 2020, 2021, and early 22. So all that to say, we are kind of got back to normal in a lot of ways. And we'll talk in a little while about what we see coming in 2024. So this is the new normal, huh? You know I hate that term. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Hey, let me tell you about uh, DP Lambert and Goosehead Insurance. If you have not reached out to DP yet, if you if you have not looked at what your home insurance is going to cost you, what your auto insurance is going to cost you, whether it makes sense to bundle, DP and his team can do all of that for you. He's a broker. He's going to be able to get you the absolute best price, the most coverage, uh, making sure that he and he helps everything that you need. Go to you, know, you can reach out dp.lambert at goosehead.com, dp.lambert, L A M B E R T at goosehead.com. You can call them at 214 614 8595 and go to touchamoneyteam.com where you can click the radio tab and find all our recommended pros and fans. Yeah. So if you don't do this at the end of the year, hopefully you do it at the beginning of the year where you're evaluating your expenses and your income and all those kind of things. And insurance, you know, is an expense. It's an important one, but it is an expense. So if you haven't shopped your insurance in the last year, Reach out to dp, dp.lambert at goosehead.com and just say, hey, I'd like to shop around and make sure I'm not wasting money and make sure I'm covered appropriately on my insurance. And then he goes away and does all that work and then call, text, email and goes, okay, here's the options. And you can say, nope, I'm good where I am or holy smokes, that's more coverage for less money. It's, I don't know why you wouldn't do this once a year. So reach out to dp, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Increasing my coverage and saving me money almost every single year worth the call, worth the email, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. We saw a pretty good change kind of on our team. I would say from Thanksgiving onwards, yep. where people, um, more people were reaching out to us. People seemed a little bit more interested in trying to find something to purchase, more, more open to selling, a little bit more realization coming in as to what the market was doing. And there's been a lot more activity on our team in the last five or six weeks. Do you feel as though that opportunity is closing for folks? Like if somebody was to list their house today or would try to buy a home today, they're closing somewhere first two weeks of February, right? Second, third week of February, more than likely. Yep. So how much longer do people have where they're going to be in this sweet spot of it's not the summer, so we don't have all the lucky loos and the window shoppers and all the stuff that we know goes with the summer. How much longer do we have where people can really take advantage? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the honest answer is we don't know. But my educated guess, my strong conviction, I feel very strong about this prediction, is that wherever your world relates to spring break, if you have kids in school or whatever the case is, however spring break impacts you, after that you're going to see a pretty significant movement back into activity in the real estate market. So we just talked about how activity was down in 2023 compared to 20 and 21 and early 22, but still not dead at all. Well, lots of people have been sitting on the fence, waiting it out, you know, pretty tied to their interest rates even if they wanted more house or wanted to make a move or had a good job opportunity. There's just been a lot of uh, stagnation. Like I, I'm, I'm not ready to do anything. I'm going to stay put. Uh, and our phone started ringing significantly more uh, in mid November. And we have lots and lots and lots. I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds more people. And as just a snippet of the marketplace, a huge percentage of people that are like, all right, I think it's time to get back in the market. It's time to buy. It's time to sell. It's time to do both. It's time to invest again. Uh, interest rates are part of that. The economy is part of that the you know cyclical nature of the market, seasonality, all those things are in play. So 
I think you have until spring break to get transactions finalized, meaning on paper with full commitments, ideally closed, uh, but on paper with full commitments, which means you have about a month. You have about 30 days. And in order to do that, you would want to be talking to someone about buying or selling right now so that you give yourself a week or two to get ready, a week or two to find something, a week or two to shop, two or three weeks at most if needed, and then some time to negotiate and get something fully, what we call executed, fully finalized and committed to on paper before the highly likely spring surge back into the market where people are like, okay, rates have come back down a good bit. The Federal Reserve said they're going to lower rates more this year. All this optimism is creating more interest all the interest is creating more competition. All the competition is creating more expense. Prices are going up based on competition, based on confidence from sellers. Well, interestingly enough, we've already seen the rates come down a good bit, but we haven't seen that massive uptick yet in competition, mostly because of the holidays and seasonality. That's the sweet spot. That's the window you're talking about that is likely to close, maybe not all the way, but close a lot by spring break. So I would say you've got three or four weeks to get something finalized that you could get fully finalized, closed, funded, moved into, owned, you've got the keys or you've gotten rid of your keys by spring break. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell people all the time and we train our team when they're explaining this to folks that right now it's taking like four to six weeks to be able to find a property on average for people. Some people are going to yeah. get it earlier than that. And some and part of that has to do that. with the availability of homes. For sure. There's just not a lot out there. And even sometimes when there's a ton of stuff out there, that means that there's more people that are looking and right. there's more homes to look at. And so people take their time as well on that side of things. So I think it's wise to say two and a half months, if not three months from the day you want to move into the house is when you should start looking for a property. You should you should give yourself that amount yeah. of time for sure. Now, have we broken that timetable? Of course. Of, all the time. But you do not want to put yourself in a situation where you have to make an impulsive quick decision because you're just not going to make as good of a decision. You're not going to protect yourself, your family, and your finances as well as you could and patience is a tool. It's an asset. It's a negotiation strategy to not have to be in a hurry. What happens when your kids are standing at the checkout aisle in the grocery store and they see the rack of candy? They turn into idiots. Now, I love, they're not yeah, idiots. It's just kids. They're not idiots. Not, not adults. But that impulsive, like, I need it, I want it, I have to have it. It's also like when adults go to the grocery store hungry. You're going to spend more money. Like, let's put ourselves in the situation to make wise choices. And the best way we do that with real estate is that we give ourselves time. Oh, it's weird. Ian's mic's muted. I can talk real loud. <laughs> Go I ahead. I have never regretted the orange Tic Tac purchase at the checkout line. Nor have I regretted buying two extra, you know, pork bellies but my wife is always like why are you buying so much food? why my wife doesn't go to the grocery i'm like there's store. nothing worse than running out of food so we should always have extra food god bless america work hard host well all right moving on let me tell you about super home warranty hello super.com is where you can go to find out all the information about what home warranties super offer you can go there hello super.com look they take care of every single one of our just yes. clicking my super home warranty pen over here, Ian. Thank you for the distraction. Yeah. Uh, they take care of every single one of our sellers on the front end, making sure that if something was to happen from the day they sign their paperwork with us to the day they go under contract, super are going to help take care of whatever's gone wrong with it, with the home. If there's been any issues, they're going to get somebody out there as soon as they can. They help take care of so many of our buyers when we get a home warranty for them. We recommend that everybody gets a home warranty and we really love what super do. All the things they offer all the different packages you can find out all yourself hello super.com christine and the whole crowd over there have been taking great care of us for years and years and years i've used them hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of our clients have used them hello super.com now if you've got a question all you got to do is call or text right now 214-310-0008 you might be asking hey if my kids graduate in may should we wait to move until then great those are great questions we answer hundreds of those questions every single week not of all of them on the radio obviously but throughout the week at the todd Tremonti home selling team and obviously we're not helping every one of those people buy or sell a house but we want to be a resource to you so if you have real estate questions at all 214-310-0008 or online at todd if you don't remember that just google todd Tremonti, spell it as best you can you'll find us call or text any phone number fill out any form click any button 
whatever your comfort level of talking to someone is right now, we'll be glad to be of value to you. Now, if you know that you have real estate goals this year and you want to buy, you want to sell, you want to pick up another investment property, you want to cash out, you want to remodel, something like that. I've been telling you for two months now, our team at the Tatramani Home Selling Team with offices in Fort Worth and Richardson set aside almost every afternoon in January for what we call free strategy sessions. That's where one of our team members that is full-time, fully dedicated, licensed real estate specialist specializing in buyers or sellers is going to offer you at no charge, no obligation, 30 to 90 minutes of their time, of their professional expertise to answer your questions, help you get clarity around your goals, help you understand how realistic they are, what the appropriate budget is, what the appropriate timetable is, what the availability of things are. And if you want, give you our Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team 2024 forecast, which is more detailed than we can do here on the air, and help you have a very clear idea of what your goals look like and achieving them looks like in 2024 or beyond. That's intended to help you from having to go through the year with a goal and lots of uncertainty or fear or anxiety or not knowing about opportunities that you could have taken advantage of sooner. So we are offering free strategy sessions. No obligation to you. doesn't cost you anything. 30 to 90 minutes with one of our full-time world-class real estate experts, either in our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office, or if we need to, we could do Zoom or a phone call. Ideally, that's face-to-face. We'll buy you a Coke or a cup of coffee or a Topo Chico or whatever you're into. All you got to do is text or call 214-310-0008. You can just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008 or find us online at touchreminderteam.com. When you say Coke, do you mean like any type of soda? Do you do you say Coke no. to mean that? Because I know there's like people say I want a Coke yeah. and then it's like, well, I'm, I'm well, from I the great Sprite. state of like, Texas yeah. where Coke can mean Dr. Pepper. It could even mean Sprite. It could mean a Mr. Pib. I don't know why you would do that sort of thing, but it could mean that. What it should never mean is Pepsi, and that's a strong opinion, and I'm willing to stand by that. Unless Pepsi would like to sponsor the radio show, in which case we will drink all the Pepsi in the world. It's great. I got to be honest. I'm a man of integrity, and i not even for that. Uh, I'm pretty confident that the way Pepsi... The spinoff show, though, will be sponsored by Pepsi. I'm pretty confident the way Pepsi is made is when the Cokes go flat, they repackage it as Pepsi. But if you like Pepsi, I still love you. I just don't want to drink a Pepsi. Now, on that note... Um, if you want to buy or sell a home in 2024, just call or text us 214-310-0008. And what I did there is called the hard radio transition oh, very smooth. where you say something like on that note, even though it really wasn't at all on, on that note. Now, if you need help of any kind with real estate, 214-310-0008 or online at touchreminderteam.com. Hey, and never, ever forget. Find out what your home would sell for right now and under a minute at TodgeMoneyTeam.com. And if you haven't got your landscaping in order for the springtime, now's a great time to do that. Go to KeenLandscaping.com. That's K-E-A-N-E, KeenLandscaping.com. Google Tajramani and check out over 700 five-star reviews. Not today, folks. Not today. The host of this show is Jackson Berry. Jackson, the almost intern, part-time editor, Pierce High School legend. Welcome back, Jackson. I'm so happy to be here. He is so happy to be here. What makes you a legend, Jackson? I don't I don't consider myself a legend. Well, that's no, how legends, legends work. Speak. That's, yeah, how le- that's what they say. <laughs> you are listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got real estate goals for 2024, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to keep those to yourself. You don't want to fear the market based on uncertainty. You don't want to be overly optimistic based on bad intel. And so what we're offering you is a free 30 to 90 minute strategy session with one of our full-time real estate agents in our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office. Worst case, we can jump on a Zoom. We'll help you answer any question you have about buying, selling, investing, property value, opportunities, flips, rentals, short-term, long-term, closing, mortgages, insurance, all of that jazz. Obviously, those are not all our core areas of expertise, but we'll get you connected with somebody that is or will help you get a game plan in place to fully achieve your 2024 or beyond real estate goals. Don't wait around not knowing. 
sleep like a baby with absolute certainty. And that's what we want to help you achieve. All you got to do is call or text 214-310-0008. You can just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. Now, uh, we got a lot to cover here in the second half. We did promise some 2024 projections. We've got the English wonder himself, Yanni Don. He's going to help us with that. You never know. We might even give a microphone to uh, producer extraordinaire, Full Price Courtney. And we definitely are going to get some more JB Jackson Berry in your life. So stay tuned. We got lots to cover as we make our way through the show. I like that Jackson's tipping the microphone as if he's got like an audience yeah. here watching. No, he's, him. he's a it's performer. Very good. Yeah. This first segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gloss and his mortgage team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, refinance, reach out to Patrick. Just simply go to patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. You can start an application on his website, 972-728-3420. That's how you can call him. NMLS number 308804. Go to touchmoneyteam.com where you can click the radio tab and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Jackson, you may not know this, but Ian prides himself on how fast he can say NMLS after he talks about Patrick Gleros. So if you see him sit a little higher in his chair in the studio, that NMLS 308804, Patrick yep. Gleros. Very prideful. Yep. Strong play. Listen, I'm not saying it's not worthy of being proud. I'm just saying if you need mortgages, you should probably... Go to patrickglares.com. That's what I do. All right. We got lots to cover today. We got your questions coming up. 214-310-0008 or toddtremonteteam.com. Let's start where I think everybody wants to start, Courtney, right? This is oh, where everybody yeah. wants oh, to start. Oh, gosh. We've got Jackson. He's new. So oh, that means no. we're going to have to play a little game of Cockney Rhyming Slang Word of the Week. Right, Courtney? Yeah. Yay. Everybody's happy. Oh, this is the part of the show, Jackson, where I say a Cockney Rhyming Slang word or words, and you have to tell me what it actually means. Okay, now As Cockney is a way people speak in parts of England. Down south. Down, well, <laughs> and let's leave it there. Some people don't like some people as much or the way they speak. So let us that's all we're going to say here. I'll give you a couple of freebies as an example. Apples and pears would equal stairs. Whistle and flute, suit. Oh. You get the game? You yep. get the game. There's no way yeah, you get, get the game. Right. There's no way you get the game because they never make sense and they don't even always rhyme. But here we go. All right, I've got a couple today because I thought we've got new, somebody new, so we're gonna give a bonus. We're gonna get, gonna get even like like into the game. Ready? Okay. I say lump of lead. You say lump of lead. Lump of lead. Lump of lead. Something in my bed. Nope. Riding on that sled. No, nope. it's a single word. Coal. Coal? Lead! Well, what, what, Head! Lead. Yes! Yeah! You would say, use your lump. <laughs> got All right, it. we've got the game now. I'm going to give you one more quick one, one more quick one. Ready? Todd, I want you to play on this one as well. Okay. Fluffy bunny. Money. First time! Yeah. Wow! I'm right. Look at that. I'm right, and I'm still not excited. That's how all, great. That's look at all that fluffy that's bunny. How great, that's how great this game is. Wow! <laughs> And moving You have on. got so good at this game over Listen, the, the I, You years. may not know this, but deep down, I still don't like this game. He All right. says he doesn't, but I think it is he funny. does. It is funny sometimes. It is he sometimes. It. That was one of our better rounds. All right, uh, fine. Let's get back to real estate. No more fluffy funny bunny? words. Fluffy bunny. In what scenario would you be like, hey, you got any fluffy bunny? Yeah, look at all that fluffy bunny. Uh-huh. Now, I will say my grandmother, who is a delightful, very small Sicilian woman, would say crazy things from time to time that that belong in this category. Like she called money do re me. You know, people say do, though. That's, and I get it. That's also otherwise totally irrelevant, do. But she went further to go do re me. So I'm not... There's a reason I haven't killed it from the show. It's, it's not well, my favorite segment because it often end doesn't day, make any sense. But I'm really proud of how you used your lump on that last hey, one. Hey, thanks. I'm, I appreciate your pride yeah. in me. Hey, you are listening, in fact, still, somehow, some way, to DFW Real Estate Weekly, where we are covering all things real estate across DFW, and we, as we do every week here on WBAP. We also do that on the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly. Wherever you get podcasts, you should check it out. Just search, wait for it. DFW Real Estate Weekly. You could even go so far as to search DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti just to make sure you can find it. Uh, we got bonus episodes there as well as any of these shows that you miss. You should check it out. Subscribe it. If you like it, you should tell people about it. If not, we'll keep trying to do better. 
All right, let's talk about homes on land. And I've got a, some stats for you from 2023, Todd. On, uh, I'm gonna, let's play a little guessing game. What percentage of homes, we covered the total number sold earlier in the mm -hmm, show. Mm -hmm. What percentage of homes on average uh, homes on the land in which we're going to classify as 0.5 acres and more. So how, what percentage of all the homes that sold last year were on half acre At or more? At least a half an acre. First, let me just say this. I've got a pretty good feel for this number, but my guess is the data you're looking at won't show it because those aren't just homes. Those are lots and land sales and things. And it includes condos and townhomes, which typically don't really transfer land. So the number you've got is probably a little skewed. But in DFW, it almost always shocks people that right around 10% of our overall market are, are properties with land. Closer to 20%. Yeah. So my, my guess is that's including a lot of raw land, which are larger acreage sizes that are probably skewing that sure. up a little there bit. There was almost 32,000 <clears> properties pieces of transactions that happened yep. stuffs as you might say stuffs uh almost thirty-two thousand out of the 173,000 were on 0.5 acres with a half acre or more that's and pretty that's pretty incredible. consistent year over year yeah I, I looked at the numbers from 18 to 23 yep. and lowest was like 17 percent highest was almost 22 yeah. every time i talk to people that you know obviously one of the areas we specialize in we do we have two core specialization areas one is the most desirable neighborhoods in dfw that's your your mid to upper mid and beyond neighborhoods all across dallas fort worth alito plano allen frisco mckinney you know, the entirety of DFW. And then number two is homes with really big yards, right? So that's a half acre or more typically. Um, and people are blown away that I use the numbers 10 to 15% of all transactions in DFW are houses on a half acre or more. So uh, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of those every single year. Uh, and we do a bunch of them. And lots of people dream of owning properties like that, but they feel like it is way off in the future or way beyond them or something they could never achieve. They sit down with us for one of these strategy sessions and they realize, oh my gosh, we could make this happen right now. Uh, we will be launching a brand new YouTube channel here in the next 30 to 60 days that is exclusively about homes with big backyards, homes on land as we call it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you get the itch to go check out that type of content, just search my name, Todd Tremonti, on YouTube or reach out to us, 214-310-0008. By now, you should have that phone number saved in your cell phone for any real estate questions or needs you have at all, 214-310-0008. Now, Jackson Berry, what, what, what comes to your mind when you think of a home with a giant backyard? I think of a, just a big house and... Big backyard where there's a pool. Pool. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Big Do you nice. say jacuzzi or hot tub more? Uh, hot tub, but I think jacuzzi is like funny Listen, to There say. was a funny English TV show where they called it a jacuzzi. Jacuzzi! Yep. Uh, I think the people at the jacuzzi brand appreciate, much like Kleenex, that they own the category. Mm -hmm. Right? Can I get a Q-tip? <laughs> now we get the generic brand. You know, whatever. <laughs> but the point is... Jacuzzi dominates that brand. All right, you're thinking pools and hot tubs. What else comes to mind when you think about a big backyard? You know, a nice uh, patio where the family can delight in a wonderful dinner. A patio, or as some like to say, a lanai. Oh, a lanai. Oh, I'll meet you on the lanai. I've never that, who says that? I don't say that, but people say that. <laughs> Higher price points. Um, Probably a trampoline. Okay, let me stop you there. By the way, you're 18, 17? 17. 17 years old. Those, uh, those all line up. Now, if you were dreaming and you're like, all right, those are cool, awesome to have, but it wouldn't blow your mind if somebody had those. You're like, all right, that's kind of, mm -hmm. I would expect that in most houses with a really big backyard, with nice houses with a big backyard. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could dream and you're like, okay, but if someone had a big backyard that was like incredible, that might have. Probably like a farm. A farm. A so some animals. animals. Like all right. What else? Um, There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious when you when you're like, dude, the dream huge backyard would have a lazy river. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> now we are talking. First of all, that's a that's a whole different type of deal when you put a lazy river in your backyard. But with a trampoline, yeah, to jump from the trampoline. Anyway, dude, um, dude, diving I'm not suggesting that for liability's sake. Now the there are people that call us regularly every week 
that are like, listen, we're moving here from California or, you know, we have a normal house in Frisco, but we'd like to move out a little further and get a big giant lot and have this incredible backyard. But we don't really know what's like our next step and all that. So if you're one of those people, one of those free strategy sessions is perfect for you. Just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008 or just go to TajamaniTeam.com and contact us however you feel comfortable. And we'll sit down with you for 30 or 90 minutes and talk about where are these types of properties? Are there homes that already have these things you're dreaming of? Or can we help you find a home and then find the help to add those things or to put them in? Whether it's a lazy river or an awesome patio or a basketball court or pickleball or a garden or a pool or an awesome patio or a grilling area or whatever the case is, those things are possible. They're not nearly as far off as most people think. And uh, those that's one of the things we absolutely love to help people do is not only buy a home, house, condo, townhome, whatever, in a neighborhood or on a big lot, but also then make that the dream home that you, your family, your life stage means. For some people, that's like trails in the backyard to ride bicycles or four-wheelers or horses, to your point. For other people, it's just space from other people, privacy and room to do your own thing. Um, so we love homes on land. If you love homes on land and that's something you would want to do is have a home with a big backyard, half acre or more, just go to toddtremontiteam.com or Google it. You'll find us. This was from 2019. So probably not on the market anymore, but listen to this witty little headline, Todd. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Texas mansion with personal lazy river drifts onto the market for 2.5 milli. Now, let me ask you a quick question, Jackson. Back to Jackson for a little bit of expertise here. What type of lazy river is not personal? Like, are there public lazy rivers? Yeah. Where you're like, you know, we have one, but anyone can use it at any time. So it's not quite as private. Are you familiar with any? I just thought it was funny wording. I just thought it was interesting. But isn't it all about wording in these decisions? It is, but that's me making fun of our industry because people do that stuff. They're like, you know, they abbreviate WBFP wood burning fireplace but no one knows that except for the other real estate agents um and things that are like just gorgeous <laughs> laminate wood floors you're like okay let's chill out here you know designer colors no they're colors they're just colors your designer might have recommended it or you got it at home depot but it's it's just you know i'm all for you know obviously we market the heck out of properties for our clients but we don't do the schmoozy stuff where it's like we're just trying to make it better than it is we identify unique points of scarcity that make that home unique and incredible and valuable and help buyers want to buy it, not feel manipulated into buying it. It's a very different thing. It generates higher sales prices, happier buyers and sellers, and deals that stay together all the way through closing and beyond. That's one of about 497,000 things we do differently, Jackson Berry. And you can find out more about how and why we guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time if you're a seller, and also guarantee to help you save at least $5,000 throughout the purchase process. If you're a buyer, you can find all of that online at toddtremonteam.com or just Google Todd Tremonti. We also work with some incredible vendors and Republic Title are one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, leaders in the industry when it comes to title the best. insurance. They are incredible. I get so fed up of having to work with people that are not at the level that Republic Title are. It drives me insane. It makes me crazy. It makes me want to say bad words, do angry things, Don't do Todd. It. Don't do it. I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to tell you how great Republic Title are. Angela, the entire team over there, they take such great care of our clients. They do it at an incredibly high level. You can go to republictitle.com where you can find out all the information about what they offer. 972-423-8777 is the phone number. Todtramoneyteam.com. Click the radio tab. Find all the recommended pros and vendors. It's just a shame that our radio listeners can't see David Goss standing at the studio window just awkwardly staring at us. I mean, world-class buyer specialist and just fantastic random humorist. In the office, walk by, stare through the window, not not saying or doing anything, just just trying to be a distraction. Yeah, it's like he's at the zoo. He's been successful, by the way. He's fully distracted us. I tell you what you should do, though. If, we're animals. if you're thinking about buying a home in 2024, Google Todd Tremonti. Click reviews. There's over 700 of them. And go read the reviews about David Goss. He's a champion of a man and an incredible buyer specialist. How about that for a little free bump on the internet? On the radio, I mean. Also probably on the internet. Now, if you haven't had someone on your roof in the last two years, if you don't know 
that the roof that protects your house and all the things and all the people inside of it, if you don't know that that roof is in good shape, you are making a mistake. Now, the goal is that you don't have to replace your whole roof. The goal is that you find out when one of the boots or vents is leaking, when, when some of your flashing is not ideal, then you fix it for like $50 instead of $15,000 later when the water penetrates your house and damages everything. That's why this is not baloney. That's why we, I genuinely believe that you should have a professional roofer that you can trust on your roof every two years, whether you need it or not, to protect your property and your family. Go to pmrroofing.com. Talk to our buddy Jordan Collins and anyone over at the crew at PMR Roofing. These are good people. These are people that do it the right way, that will look you in the eye, shake your hand, not sell you anything you don't need. And if you do need something, do it at a fair price, do it right, and be here in a decade or whenever you need them again. pmrroofing.com. Oh, they are not bologna, but a shout out to bologna for making delicious sandwiches, especially when fried. I see what you did there. I'm, I'm guessing most people forgot that I said bologna earlier, but this show's been wheels off anyway. So, <laughs> hey, me, Todd, always listening. Let's do always it. Always listening. Hey, I got a couple of questions for you in the last few minutes that we've got. So I'm going to let you pick which one you want to start with. Okay. You mentioned strategy sessions a little earlier in the show. I want you to give a little bit more detail on what that's going to involve when somebody comes and sits down to have a strategy session with us on the buy side or on the sell side or maybe on both. And then I also want to talk about what are you really focused on this year regarding goals, team goals, personal goals? What are the things that jump to mind? All right, Jackson, which one of those should we take first? Should we discuss goal setting or should we talk about what happens at a free strategy session? I like the last one. Okay. I haven't said that. So I'm an obsessive goal setter and I admittedly, I mean, I'm, I'm aware how annoying that is to some other people that are like, can we just breathe for a second and not talk about building a better future? Some people, some people feel that way and I uh, love them. Uh, I'm not the same as them, Jackson. Uh, I, I don't understand being that way, but that's okay. God gives us each unique gifts and abilities. Just one of my, in each day, one day at a time, Todd. One of my gifts and abilities is to be excited about and think about and work hard to create a great and amazing future. So I'm a big believer that um, you should have goals. I uh, read a lot of data and research and, and, and literature around how the brain works and how we motivate and activate different parts of our lives to go and create things, to make things happen. Um, and I would tell you without a shadow of a doubt, if you have a goal and not just a wish and a dream, a goal that you want bad enough, you're willing to actually commit to it, and you would write that down and you would look at it and review it regularly, you'll increase your odds of actually achieving that goal many times over. Not like 10 or 20%, but like two or three times more likely to achieve it. So if I was gonna give people one small tip on goal setting, it would be create a goal that you believe you can achieve, but that's big enough that really gets you excited to do some stuff you don't wanna do when you don't wanna do it write it down. You can write it in words. You can create a board with pictures and then read that or look at that at least once every single day. And then um, make sure that when you see the words or see the picture, that it gets you emotionally worked up a little bit, passionate about what you could achieve, fired up about what it would feel like not to achieve it, excited about who else would benefit, that kind of emotional response. If you'll do that, you don't need all the fancy techniques and tools and apps. Now I use a lot of that stuff. I use a free one called, I use a free version of one called habit share. They don't promote, they don't pay us to promote them at all. I think it's excellent. We do a 75 day challenge here with our coaching and consulting clients with the real estate agents that we coach all over North America with our team, with some of our friends and clients and vendor partners. And I think it's a heck of a way to commit to 75 days of progress. I think mental strength is the biggest thing you gain there because ultimately you realize that you really do choose, choose your own future. It's not a, just a series of what happened to you. It's you either chose to go get it or you didn't. Now, hard things happen. We're not in complete control, uh, but there's a few little nuggets on how I think about goal setting. I have taught courses over days on this, so we can't cover all that here, but if you'll get, if you'll think of something you want bad enough to do some stuff you don't want to do that could have massive impact in your life that is realistic, but also difficult, write it down, review it daily and go for it. 
I really do think you'll get there. Now, that could be getting out of debt. That could be saving money. That could be buying something. That could be meeting someone, deepening a relationship, growing in your faith, losing weight. It could be any of those things. What it really comes down to is something you're willing to truly commit to. It's not a wish. It's a commitment. And you'll review it daily, and you'll do hard things when you don't want to. That's the magic. All right. Now, the other question was, um, what was it? Give us a, a rundown of what actually is going to take place during one of the uh, free strategy yeah. sessions. Yeah, no, I love this question. During a free strategy session, we are going to help you gain clarity. That's that's what it's about. So if you're like, we want to buy a house this year, it's like, great. What questions do you have? And then we might say something like, here's some questions you should have. Here's some questions that I would want you to be asking. And we can help somebody answer those questions. If someone's thinking about selling and buying, we'll help them get clarity on what is the selling side of the market look like right now. We can give them a backstage to the MLS, show them what only brokers and agents can see. We can talk to them about what was happening last month, what is happening this month, and what we expect with confidence to happen next month. If they're buying, we can do the exact same things. We can help them understand, Here, here's how much money you should get out of the house you have now. Here's what it should cost to get you into that next house. Here's the likelihood of something that you want becoming available in that neighborhood at this time. Here's how long it would take. Here's some pros that can help you along the way. Inspectors, mortgage lenders, title companies, roofers, plumbers, electricians, painters, all those things. And here's the likelihood of getting that done within this time period. If you need to wait a year, here's what we think, less confident, but here's what we think the market will be like a year out. The goal for me, if someone leaves a strategy session with one of our team members, is they would sleep better that night. They're like, okay, I feel way better about what we want to do. Even if the answer was we need to wait longer, we need to save more, we need to do our homework more, that they would feel a greater level of confidence and clarity going into 2024 and beyond, knowing that what they want to do is either achievable or what they need to do to make it achievable instead of having a bunch of uncertainty and hopes and dreams and wishes that they don't even know if they're legitimate or not. If you're interested in a free strategy session about buying or selling or remodeling or increasing your property value or decreasing your tax value, just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. Or you can call 214-310-0008 or anytime, day or night, you can always go to... That's your mighty team.com.